change your knees hey everyone welcome back to my channel shade your knees and again i'm here to review married at first sight so the other day i know i said i was going to be recording episode 18 i believe no it was episode 17 i was supposed to be recording right after 16 but it didn't happen y'all i have been on the go i have been working hard I mean, I just everything. So trying to work out, trying to meal prep, going to church, just all the things, okay? And so time has not really been on my side. I just got to get better with that. But today I'm coming to you from my car, <laughs> okay? Uh, I'm actually, I'm actually at work in a sense. I had to be somewhere today, uh, but I have some time before I have to clock in. So this is Married at First Sight. This is going to be episode 17 and episode 18, okay? So starting off with episode 17, I'm gonna start off with Emily and Brennan. Thank God she does not have a concussion because on the last episode, you know, we discussed that they had an accident. Well, she had an accident where um, they were ATVing and she hit a tree a branch hit her in the head and went up under her helmet. And so now she has um, lacerations right here, like on, on the side of her head and face. Uh, it looks like Brennan has been very supportive to her and um, the cast has as well. And that's very surprising to me to see that Brennan has been as supportive as he has been. It seems like he was the only one to take a little bit of action <laughs> when the incident happened like producers what are you doing do y'all not have safety protocols like just let me know i'm just asking i'm asking because yeah i went to school for journalism okay and i've worked in news for a while so i know a little bit about a little something you know what i'm saying i've also done some radio i have my master's in communications so I may can speak to a little bit of, of these things as well as working at a nonprofit right now and just there are different protocols that you take with things. So I'm confused on why they were not acting as fast as they needed to be. Because honestly, the way it was looking, it looked like Emily could have died. Honestly, that was very dangerous. Anyways, so she had to have stitches and she wanted to go back to the retreat after her hospital stay which to me Nashe, <laughs> if i would have went home and got in the bed but she seems to be in very good spirits so that is um very very good and then um on episode 18 Emily and Brennan um they look like they have taken a turn for the best um because y'all they were the worst and I did not like Brennan this episode Brennan actually came off of my um my bad list you know he doesn't get a bad report this time but um yeah it's strange to how something so bad can make a relationship stronger in a sense and i'm gonna say that for now because i see the preview for next week's episode child it looks like brennan is going to get an f next week okay i'm gonna give him an a right now maybe a b but um next episode i'm gonna already go ahead and tell you all he's getting an f probably um, and I was just thinking like I wonder when they um, when she heals will they be able to sustain this like will they have substance and so we will see what all happens with Emily and Brennan next I'm going to move on to the newlyweds Chloe and Michael Michael is not easing his fashion on Chloe. And she is concerned. Um, <laughs> this man put on his mask, skirts, and everything. And honestly, like I said in the last video, he has to be doing this for conversation pieces because 
it's not fashioning to me. Like you're not, if you think you're giving for real vibes, you're not, okay? Maybe you should follow Pharrell on Instagram or however, I don't know, but you're not giving fashion. I'm, I'm so sorry. Um, anyways, would y'all want y'all man to wear a skirt if you're in a um, heterosexual relationship and your man, you know, I don't know. Would y'all want that? I personally would not. I... I <laughs> thinking about my boyfriend in a skirt is hilarious first of all but um yeah I don't think that's something I would like and like even in in relationships there are things that your partner may wear that you'd be like ooh that ain't it like the other day my boyfriend told me he didn't like a pair of my jeans and I'm like well I don't be liking some of your stuff but anyways, um, moving, <laughs> moving on. So Chloe says that they have a deep connection and that he has touched her soul. Um, he wants to wear her pearls and earrings. He should have just paused on that. Like you need to wait before you start, you start asking to wear things because this is so new for her. This is overwhelming. And it's hard for her because she's not used to dating a man like Michael, he, who is more in touch with his feminine side. So it's something she really has to get um, accustomed to. And the group goes uh, on an activity date. Um, as we know, Emily cannot participate. Um, but Michael... He did really great, and so that turned Chloe on, apparently. Um, she loved to see how athletic he is, which he really did uh, a great job. Him and Claire, like, I was like, oh, okay. Look at them. They probably could have been in the Olympics of Colorado. Um, but, yeah, they did really good. So, moving on to episode 18, Chloe and Michael take a little break because Chloe needed to, um, I think it was just all very overwhelming to her. And Michael's friend was like concerned because Michael may be putting up a front of being like, well, not Michael's friend. I think it was her friend. It was somebody's friend. Okay. That thinks that maybe he's putting up a front on, you know, how he handles things. And she learns that he is a uh, people pleaser. And that she honestly had that in the back of her mind that maybe he's putting up a front. But that's something we'll have to see. I think he's pretty much a genuine guy. I think he's just really peaceful and trying to understand people because he wants people to understand him and so um i think that's again something she's also not used to she does go back to the apartment and they bring all of their animals the cats was walking across the island in the kitchen now you're all on the table i would not eat at y'all's house i'm so sorry I'm not sorry, actually. I would not eat at y'all's house because y'all got too much going on. People with animals, stop having y'all animals where the food has to be. Stop it. That is nasty. Do y'all know how many d diseases there are? Do y'all know how nasty animals are? I'm, I don't know. Animals are really disgusting. And that whole thing of, oh, dogs' mouths are cleaner than humans. No, they're not. They eat poop. They eat poop. Anyways. Back on the top of here. <laughs> they have a party. And this is, you know, yeah, my notes a little messed up. I'm sorry. But um, this is where Chloe finds out that Michael is a people pleaser. 
and she ends up calling him out on that um when they go on their little boxing day he shows her how to box and everything and he did not deny it he was like yeah he may be you know a bit of a people pleaser and that's something he'll work on all righty then that's all i have on them i'm gonna go ahead and move on to becca and austin i'm tired of austin i am tired either you want this woman or you don't go ahead and let her know and becca if you think this man does not want you go ahead and leave go ahead and leave because this makes no sense so as you know last episode he leaves her in the room alone. Leaves her in the room alone to go sleep in another bedroom. We find out that um in episode 18 actually that um he went to go sleep in this bedroom of the famous football player that stayed in the home. Why does it matter to you that much? You are childish. Grow up. Anyways. He's he has an F. Okay, he has taken Brennan's F, okay? So, you know that Becca, she ended up having a stomach bug. And to me, I was like, did Austin do something to give her a stomach bug? <laughs> <laughs> Did he give her some old cheese? Like, what? listen, I'm sure he was very happy that she got a stomach bug because he does not like her. He don't want to be around her. We also find out that he thinks that she's bossy. As a bossy woman, <laughs> sometimes... You have to let men do what it is they want to do and give them zero advice, give them zero guidance because they're gonna take it as you being bossy. And you just have to let them fail. <laughs> you gotta let them fail. I know that sounds terrible, but sometimes just, just let them see for themselves let them see for themselves and they'll be like okay maybe she was right maybe she probably had a point this probably would have been more helpful if i did what she probably would have done you know what i'm saying so they meet with the experts dr pepper seems to think that austin is trying becca is not understanding how she thinks that and me neither honestly they seem to think that, um, you know, he really wants to be with her. But I don't think that's the case. Have they not been looking at the footage? We learned that Austin feels like he his efforts has not been taken seriously. What efforts? I'm very confused. I feel like we are missing a piece to the puzzle when it comes to them. And we really need to know what it is because we need to know and that's all i have on them that's all i have now we're gonna move on to we're gonna go ahead and move on to cameron and claire who i oh, thought was my phone overheated that was the first time that happened but anyway i'm gonna finish this review up real quick before it starts getting hot again um but I'm gonna go with Claire and Cameron. I thought they were not together. Why do they keep talking? Why is Cameron meeting up with Brennan? He says that he would say yes on decision day if Claire does. Claire is emotional, which Cameron says she is, you know. But a lot of us are emotional people. But girl, let it go. You don't have to be there for that man if it's not working out. Like y'all known each other for a few weeks. It's gonna be okay. I know it's married at first sight and people wanna stick to their vows and all that. But at the end of the day, y'all didn't know each other. Y'all didn't. 
Y'all didn't know each other. And I'm not understanding why people are still signing up for this show. But, um, yeah, Cameron, I'm concerned about him with his heart flutters. It's not atrial fibrillation, fib whatever. Y'all know what I'm trying to say. Um, but it's something similar. And so he can't get too excited. So, and that's sad for him because he's a cyclist and he cannot ride his bike probably for six months or more so yeah that sucks but yeah I'm, I thought they had decided they were not going to be together we learned that there may be still hope because I was confused on why they would be getting a decision day when they already cut ties or said that they would get a divorce it's making no sense because if that's the case will Orion and Lauren get a decision day make it make sense but um at the retreat you know lauren and orion talk um lauren says you know hey let her lead the way this time you you know because she had been waiting on a conversation with orion for weeks and he he said nothing until you know they get around each other and around the cameras because apparently he's on mute when the cameras are not rolling and so I think she's pretty hurt by his actions and he's probably hurt by his actions as well. He probably wishes he would have handled things better. Um, but again, I'm not understanding why they need to be friends. Just let it go. Y'all were married for 10 days. It's going to be all right. It really will be all right, I promise. But anyway, thank you all for tuning in to this video. If you have not subscribed to my channel yet, go ahead and do so. Okay, and like this video and comment and let me know what you all think about these couples being friends if they're not being married let me know all right see y'all next time bye love you